Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be talking about my postpartum recovery. I did have a third degree tear, which is one of the more severe tears that you can get when you deliver a baby. So if you're interested in listening about my experiences, keep watching. Okay guys, so the first thing I wanna say is that I am not going to be talking about postpartum depression. I am definitely not a healthcare professional and that is a very serious issue that you should discuss with your doctor. Um, I'm just gonna be talking about some of the physical things that you can do to help your recovery along. All right, so I just wanna say to the first time moms, it's gonna be okay, you're gonna get through it, yes, it's going to hurt. Yes, you're going to be bleeding. Yes, you're gonna to have to wear diapers. Um, yes, you're gonna be swollen. Yes, you're gonna be tender. Yes, your body is not gonna be its normal self, but guess what? You will get through it. Your body will eventually go back to an almost completely normal state, and you have a beautiful baby that you got out of it, and that is something really special. Um, so just know, it's gonna be okay. All right, Grayson is being squirmy, so I apologize, <laughs> but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, the first thing we're talking about today is an adult diaper. So this is the brand Always Discreet, and I packed these in my hospital bag, and I am so, 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 so grateful that I did, because this was a game changer. So the hospital is going to provide you with mesh panties and they are very loose and very baggy and very uncomfortable. So I would highly recommend um, getting yourself some adult diapers. They're a little bit pricey per one, but it's totally, totally worth it. They're gonna be nice and form fitting. And I felt like nothing was getting through there. I wasn't gonna be leaking. I didn't have to worry about like, if I fell asleep for a couple hours, like there wasn't gonna be a mess when I woke up. Um, very comfortable. If people didn't already know that I was wearing a diaper, they wouldn't have known. Um, it's not noisy, it's not super puffy. Um, I made a lot of jokes about wearing a diaper, so pretty much everyone knew I was wearing a diaper, but um, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend those. Um, depending on who you are and your experience, you might only bleed for a couple of weeks or you might bleed for way longer. Everyone's different. Um, I think I wore those for four to six weeks. My timeline's a little bit hazy um, because I was very sleep depressed. <laughs> so I think I wore them for like four to six weeks. Um, it's not in the forefront of my mind though because you took up so much time. You still do. <laughs> All right, the next thing we're gonna talk about is a peri bottle. So I have lost mine or I got thrown away, but the hospital provided me with a peri bottle and essentially it's just a little bottle that you fill up with warm water and you squish it and it squirts water out the end. And you use that when you're using the restroom and even in the shower if you want. Yeah. Um, and it just helps clean the area without being abrasive like wiping would be. So, um, like I said, I had a third degree tear, so I was very tender and wiping was honestly terrifying. So using the Perry bottle and then just dabbing with, um, toilet paper after that worked wonders for me. I used it for a while and it, it just makes you feel a lot cleaner because, you're not just smearing all of the residue, like you're actually like washing it off with water. So really, really, really like the Perry bottle. I will link one down below um, on Amazon. They're really cheap, but your hospital should provide you one. Um, so it's not something that I would run and go get um, unless you come home from the hospital and you don't have one. Okay. The next thing we're gonna talk about is cooling pads. So I see a lot of people on social media talking about making their own padsicles with witch hazel and, and aloe vera 
and that kind of thing. Um, I did not do that and it turned out to be okay um, because my hospital provided me with Tom's Witch Hazel cooling pads and basically it was just a little circle, um, very thin, and I just put it inside of the diaper. Grayson, honey. Yum. Oh. Okay, sorry about that. Um, the witch hazel cooling pads, I would just insert them into the diaper when I was feeling really sore and it helped very quickly. So um, when I was having a, a bad day where I was feeling more swollen, more sore, um, I definitely use those more often. Obviously you need to change them out frequently, but it really, really, really helps with the soreness and the tenderness. Um, like I said, my hospital provided those for me and I used all of them. I think there was like 50 in the container. Um, if not, I will link them in the description on Amazon and you can grab some. It's probably gonna be a lot cheaper than buying pads and witch hazel and aloe and whatever else people are putting in those pop, the padsicles. Um, so I definitely recommend the Tom's witch hazel cooling pads. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is just wearing loose clothing. So with Grayson, when I was just a few weeks postpartum, we took him out of the house to just get out and um, I wore jeans because I wanted to see if I could squish into jeans and I could. So um, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Um, after a couple of hours of wearing jeans, my scar was really, really sore and really hurting me and I was actually sore the next day from wearing jeans because they were too tight. So don't wear jeans unless you have to. Um, wear nice, loose, comfortable clothing. Um, if you're going to be nursing, I highly recommend some black leggings, a nursing tank, and a cardigan. Um, that's gonna work pretty well for any time of year and it's gonna have easy boob access. You're gonna be comfortable and that's just what I would recommend for nursing. So the next thing is just talking about your body and the changes that you go through um, physically after you have a baby. Most of you guys should know by now that just because you have the baby doesn't mean your body goes right back to normal because that is not the case. Um, generally, they say you look five to six. Whoa, ba -ba. You look five to six months pregnant um, after you've had the baby for a few days and then it just slowly goes down after that. Um, Grayson is five months old now and my body is pretty much back to its normal state. It's never going to be exactly the same, um, but it looks pretty much the way it used to look. So um, I would say at about three ish months you're going to be almost completely back to normal um, with just a couple things that are a little bit different um, but don't worry about three months and um you'll be looking okay um, as far as wearing any um like belts around my stomach or like compression tank tops or anything like that i didn't wear those um i just let my body do its thing um, what um, yeah, I just let my body do its thing and it turned out to be okay for me. Okay. And um, that's really all I have to say. We're getting fussy. So we're, we're going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, honey.